Hey you guys, welcome back to Lily Reads. I have not been on this channel in a minute to give you guys like actual book content. Like I did a wrap up for you guys, but I haven't been on here in a minute to give you guys actual book content. And I am going to be really honest with you. I feel like a lot of people come back to their channels and talk about the after of this, but I'm coming in the middle. I'm in a reading slump. I am in a really, really bad reading slump. It is so hard for me to pick up a book and just read. I am currently working on a vlog that you guys will see in a couple days. This vlog should have been done two weeks ago but it hasn't because I don't want to pick up the books. None of these books are like bad, like really, really bad. That's why I don't want to read the book. I just simply don't want to read. I am in this weird space right now where I'm questioning everything about myself when it comes to being a reader. I'm questioning the stuff that I like. I'm questioning the stuff that I own. You want to know how I know I'm in a reading slump? It's not when I'm not reading. I go through phases all the time where I'm not reading, but if I'm not reading, it's like I'm thinking about reading. I'm thinking about what I'm going to read next. I'm just thinking about books. So I know like I still love books. I know I'm in a reading slump when I don't want to even buy books. You guys, I haven't bought a book in a month and a half. I think it's been a month and a half since I have bought a book. I do have two prescription, two, two, <laughs> two subscription boxes. I do do book of the month, which that'll be a video at the end of the month about that. And I still do, and I do fairy loot. So like those are the only ways I've been getting books is because I already like, order books like I already have books that come to my house and then there's been like some pre-orders that have came in so like I think bad girl complex or some bad girl reputation or something like that came in this book so this is Christmas came in some books came in that I pre-ordered but like other than that like getting up and going to the bookstore and like buying books it hasn't been there so much so that it was my birthday and like I should have went to the bookstore for my birthday and purchased some books, spent a couple hundred dollars, didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go to the bookstore to buy books. The other day I was out just shopping and there's like a bookstore I really like to go to near the places that I like shop. And I just didn't want to go in there. I didn't want to go in there. Nothing about books is striking joy in me. Another thing is I know that's been bothering me. I want to extend my bookshelves out and that you want to know what that's what I think my reading slump is. I think my reading slump is because I don't currently like my current setup of my bookshelf. A big part of me wanting to read is having my books like out and on display in a way that I want them. I am like big on like libraries. That's why people like say in the comments like Kenya why don't you go to the library and uh, check out books? Why do you buy? I love Love collecting books. I love going into people's homes and seeing people have a personal library. People have books that mean something to them. People have books that have stories uh, like of how they bought them, how they came in their position. I just love collecting books and I truly believe that one day I will read every single book that I own. It won't be today, it won't be tomorrow, and it won't be in two years, but one day I will read all these books. I like keeping books. I just, I love all of it, but I have run out of space. <laughs> I have run out of space. I always knew that I was going to run out of space when I eventually got all of my books into this room. I knew that I was going to run out of space. I knew that I wasn't going to have enough space for all this, but I kept that in mind. And like, I always knew I was going to extend. Let me show y'all a little bit. I always knew I was going to extend these shelves on out. So like, boom, 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 boom. So like to get like, and like just doing that right there would add like 200 more books that I could hold just in that space right there. So like, that's what I'm dealing with right now like trying to like fit books and like I don't know I just don't like the way I'm storing my books because like I know I don't have any more space so it's making me not excited to read books and then every time I do read a book not not nine times out of ten but a lot of times I end up like 
no longer wanting to keep it like it goes into my unhaul I wouldn't say most time but I'm unhauling more books this year than I've unhauled any other year and so it's just like now I also don't even trust myself as a book buyer because I'm like usually I like buying books I'm excited to buy the books and now I'm just like ah. Uh, uh, like I'm getting rid of a lot of books and I don't mind getting rid of a lot of books. I'm making sure this year I make sure they go to a good home. People who want them. I have readers in my family who want the books. So getting rid of books is not a bad thing in my life because I always have a like place where I can pass them on to. But it's just like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in a terrible, terrible reading slump. And like I'm blaming all different types of things. I do think you want to know something. This is just off the cuff. I think that reading good books puts me in a reading slump more than reading bad books. Stay with me. So I read In the Dream House and I gave it five out of five stars. I thought it was so good. I read Tiffany D. Jackson, The Way to Blood, gave it five out of five stars, thought it was so good. And what it made me think about was all the shitty books that I read this year. And it's like, I waste so much time reading so much bad books, so many bad books. <laughs> So many books that aren't going to serve me. So many books that even if I read and like, I'm not going to think about them again. Like I spend so much time doing that and it's a waste of my fucking time. It's a waste of my fucking time. Like why am I doing that? And so I continue to do it. I continue to buy books that I continue to buy books. And then it's just like I don't like them. And then the worst part is like thinking you're going to like a book and it just lets you down and you're just like this is terrible and usually I can just dust myself off and try again but now that I've read a couple books that I've given five stars it just makes me feel like I've wasted so much time reading books that like I was never going to like or like I thought I was gonna like I don't know it's just like I just want all the books to be five stars and like a lot I've grown weary the word is that I've grown weary some people have a bad reading year and this would be categorized as a bad reading year for me. This was a terrible reading year for me when it comes to quality. And like they can dust themselves off and try again again. It's hard for me to want to dust myself off and try again. I'm like I'm tired. I'm tired of having the highest of hopes and being let down and let down and let down. I'm just so tired of it. So you want to be, I'm going to be real honest with you, what I've actually been doing like because I still love to read. I still love to read. So there's two things I've been doing. Number one, Substack. I have been reading like everybody in a mama's new newsletter. If you got a newsletter on Substack, I probably read it. I've been reading everybody in a mama newsletter because I just had this thirst for like wanting to read. I love to read before bed. I love to read in the morning with my coffee. I love to read. So Substack has been giving like scratching that itch. Another thing is I'm back on Tumblr and I was back on Tumblr before Twitter started acting up. Elon Musk and Twitter was acting up. I'm on Tumblr and I've just been reading like stories, people like romance, romance fiction. People have been posting on Tumblr. I literally just go to the search bar, put in romance and then I just read. I just read what people have written and it's, it's exciting to me. I'm not even gonna lie. I enjoy it so damn much to see what people have written. Then, you know, I, I even narrow it down to the type of romance I want to see this type of tropes I want to see and I've been having a lot of fun doing that because that's really the only thing that's been sparking joy in me because everything else has not been like I look at my TBR and I'm just like okay that's that's not sparking joy I look at the thrillers I own not sparking joy the romance I have aren't sparking joy the just regular fiction not sparking joy and so I'm just like what do I do I just I'm tired like I just don't want I'm 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 want I'm in an era where it's just like I'd rather not try it all you know when people say you rather try and fail than to not try it all I'm not there yet I'm not there in my journey yet I don't want to try no more <laughs> I don't want to try no more like I tried I failed and I'm over it I'm over it I don't want to do it no more so that's where I am with it. That's why I haven't been posting on this channel. That's the thing about starting a book channel that I never really thought about. When I started my book channel, I was like, oh, of course I'm always gonna have a reading vlog for them. Like, it's once a week. <laughs> it's 
once a week I just have to read a few books once a week I do that myself but when you like actually have a channel where you're like posting you realize like oh you really gotta read these books like people come to me and they're like Kenya have you read this so many people want my thoughts on Jeanette McCurdy's I'm glad my mom died when I'm gonna read it when I'm gonna read it like I just I don't have the time to sit down and read it like it's just it's just not it's just not a thing and so I'm just sitting here like when you expect me to read this book like I am literally I don't know I'm not excited about anything I'm I'm not excited about anything on my bookshelf. I'm not excited about anything in the library. I went to the library, like just pro perused the sections to see if there was anything I wanted in there that wasn't there. What there's nothing new that I want. That's the thing, cause it's like okay, Kenya, you maybe the reason why you don't want to get books is cause you don't want to spend your own money on it. Like okay, 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 whatever. So then I went to the library, be like okay, let's let's see what the free stuff give me, and the free stuff ain't give me nothing. I'm just like I don't want to read none of that. I don't want to read none of this. <laughs> I nothing like nothing because the books that I don't expect to be good are the ones that are good and the books I expect to be good are the ones that aren't and so I'm just sitting here like I don't know. I don't know what I want as a reader. I don't know what I want as a reader. I'm kind of like, I enjoyed reading Agatha Christie so maybe I should go back into the classics. Maybe there's something pulling me back in that direction like can you need to go read some older books. Maybe you're looking for something thing in or Kinder, Kinder, the show Kinder is gonna be coming on FX is about to come out. So I'm like, go read, go read Kinder finally, finally go do that. And it's just like the thought. What if I don't like it? What if it's like when I read The Vanishing Half finally and didn't like it? What if I'm on the wrong side of history? What if I don't like Kinder? Like what if that happens? And that scares me to my soul. <laughs> that scares me to my soul that I'm gonna like it. So then I'm like, go back and reread the books that you like this year. So Charming as a Verb, Confessions of a Leg good girl sorrow and bliss like there's some books books you really love this year monday's not coming like go read some of those but i'm like what if they don't hold up what if they don't hold up and then next month when i'm giving y'all my my least and le my favorite and least favorite books of the year i ain't got nothing to tell y'all because i reread the books and they're not good and then I sit here and I wonder, and it's because my spirit is nasty, I'm being nasty towards other people. You know how the nastiest person you ever met probably is insecure as shit and beats themselves up every morning. That's why they go out into the real world and beat you up. What if that's what I'm doing to books? Like, I don't feel good on the inside about my reading and my reading year and like all of this stuff. So like, I'm beating up on these books because I don't feel good. Because <laughs> I don't feel good. Like, what if that's what I'm doing? So I'm actually I feel like these books are the worst fucking thing so like the, even the book I'm currently reading right now like everything about this book is annoying me but I know in a different light this stuff wouldn't annoy me like it would annoy me but it wouldn't annoy me as bad as it's annoying like it's pissing me off and I'm just like like the the random and I'll talk about this in the vlog that's gonna go up in a couple of days but like the character has like a saying that she constantly says and like it bothers me every time she says it every time she says it it like makes me want to just be like close the book close the book I don't want to do this no more and like she keeps saying it and she keeps saying it and I'm like am I just annoyed like am, is something else annoying me and I'm making it seem like this book is annoying me because it, it's not that deep Kenya but like I want to take up a full star because it's annoying me. I don't know, but I'm in a reading slump. I'm in a reading slump. I don't want to read. I don't want to even touch a book. Um, the most I want to do, I want to reorganize my bookshelf before I add on to my bookshelf. Go through one more time. See if I want to keep some stuff. See if I want to get rid of some stuff. I'm thinking about doing that, but that's it. Um, and like we only have like one, like we, are, we have a month and a half left of the year. And I'm losing steam. I'm losing steam. So it's like, should I just take a break in December and come back stronger in January? Should I finish out the year and then take a break in January? I don't know. Me, I don't know. But I'm in a reading slump. And that's why this channel has been like vacant. Like why y'all have not been seeing stuff. Last night I took a bath and I sketched out some stuff. Like some reading vlogs that I want to do. Because I think some, like reading slumps are either one of two things. Either you just gotta relax, relax don't read let it pass or you gotta work your way through it until you find that one book that just like reignites something in you and so I think I'm gonna go route two I'm gonna go route two and just 
keep on going and get that love back this is i mean all year i go through random reading slumps like a few days a week or two but this is the longest one this one has been going on for a week when i don't want to buy books i love buying shit i love buying shit and books is the most inexpensive thing that i can routinely buy that like i enjoy buying and like so that's why i buy books it's like it's a cheaper option than buying purses, bags, shoes, and you know, all all types of care and all home decor. Like it's it, it scratches an itch without being too much of a burden, you know. Like I can I have this entire room. I can fill it with books. It doesn't get in anyone else's way. It doesn't make my house look cluttered. It just makes this room look cluttered, which like I love. So like it just it's the perfect thing for me. But like even I don't want to do that even on my birthday and there's books that I want I made a whole video about books that I want to buy I didn't want to go get them I did you want to know the only thing that has sparked a little bit of joy in me it made me want to go buy a book did y'all see the fairy loot cover of Babel so the book Babel it the fairy loot cover came out couple weeks a couple months ago whatever whenever it came out and it's so pretty and i want to spend the like 60 to 100 dollars that people are reselling it for to get my hands on it fairy loot if you're watching this and want to send me that please do <laughs> please do i will accept it with open arms but that's the only thing that i like has made me want to buy but i want that fucking cover they're like white cover like i want it so damn bad but like i don't even want to fucking read babble like i just want it to have it you know but yeah so it's like maybe maybe I should reread some Junie B. Jones I wanted to do a whole Junie B. Jones video which I still am gonna do I wanted to do it this year but I don't think I'm gonna get to it rereading all of Junie B. Jones and ranking every single one of them maybe I should read some Junie B. Jones and that'll get me back in the spirit I don't know so yeah I'm in a reading slump <laughs>